put an end to this topic once and for all, turn the Hubble round and show us um, Earth in real time. Well, of course, if I say flat Earth, then uh, I gotta be an idiot. Photoshop job. Not even a question. Something we were taught as children as being scientific fact has so little backing. We're being lied to. By a powerful organization. All the world rulers all belong to this club. This world is very different from what most people think it is. Um, there are very powerful people who essentially rule this world right now. Um, and the ordinary person is a slave in this world. And slaves aren't educated. Photo of painting. <laughs> How the fuck would you know? <laughs> As I stumbled backwards, I could feel the saliva on my tongue starting to bubble just before I went unconscious. And that's kind of the last thing I remember. Wow, that's pretty crazy. And originally I had a clip of the BBC video with Brian Cox where they dropped a feather and a bowling ball in a pathetic attempt to prove gravity. And I had to take it out because that was the first thing that got this video blocked. And I'll put the link in the description, but it's a horrible spectacle showing how they waste massive amounts of our tax money as they prepare the gigantic space power facility and operate it just to film the propaganda feather and bowling ball drop. And they all react like it's the greatest thing they've ever seen, and I don't know about anyone else, but I'm sick and tired of working my butt off so these jokers can waste my money on ridiculous productions like this. I mean, this facility is enormous, and even just sitting there unused, it takes massive amounts of money to maintain, and even more so when all of the workers have to show up and operate it for the propaganda. Heck, every time you shut the giant door, it probably costs thousands of dollars. And again, we pay them to create propaganda for us. Not the best use of capital, in my opinion. And then... The next clip is the one that just got this video removed, and this was the clip from Smarter Every Day. I, um, I guess he didn't like how ridiculous he and astronaut Donald Petit looked when they discussed the shutters on the cupola of the International Space Station. They basically talk about the tiny little O-rings that are used to create a seal for the seven handles that open and close the shutters. They operate the handles from inside the cupola, and these handles close the shutters on the outside of the space station. So for me, the worst part was how ignorant Donald Petit was when asked what to do in the event of a leak in the seal. He's like, uh, then you have a leak. Probably seal off the cupola. There's probably a plan. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan to replace the mechanism. It might require a spacewalk, all nonchalantly. And it's like, what in the world is he thinking? This is horrible. If the ISS were real, there would be a procedure for every possible contingency. What's going on? Sanders, what's going on? It's Mega Mate. She's gone from suck to blow. On submarines, you train and practice emergency drills all the time. Even the lowest ranking member on a sub will know what to do in the event of an emergency. This is Donald Petit, an elite astronaut. The astronauts are supposed to be the best and brightest, having to beat out hundreds of qualified people to become a NASA astronaut. I mean, are you kidding me? Where are the drills? What are the procedures? They would have a specific procedure for every type of incident. Loss of pressure, leaking seals, micrometeorite penetration, ammonia leak. I mean, come on, this is horrible. Where are the drills? 
The first thing they would show in videos would be them rehearsing drills. But instead, we get videos of spinning stuffed animals and making tacos, washing hair, blowing bubbles in space. I mean, really? Does anyone believe this stuff? If it were real, there would be nonstop serious drills about how to stay alive in the event of an emergency. Then at the end, Mr. Smarter Every Day even exclaims, you have the vacuum of space being held back by two little bitty O-rings. That's incredible. Well, he's right there. It is incredible that people believe it. And shame on us for being ignorant for all of these years. But um, anyways, at least we know now and we can observe these things in greater detail with objectivity. So...
Hey, what's up guys? I was getting ready for work this morning and kicking around a few video ideas when I decided to pull up the charter quickly to just search through for some tidbits and hold their feet to the fire with regard to spending and these out of control productions they're putting out there um, with our tax money. Um, and this is when I came across the NASA Arrest Authority. Now, we all know that a lot of our federal agencies have this arrest authority and they carry weapons, firearms, which is ridiculous. And I'll get into that another another day. But um, I didn't think about NASA. I just, I should have, I guess. But to me, it's very disturbing. I want to know your opinion on that and whether anyone else out there finds this disturbing. And it's not just NASA employees. It's contractors and subcontractors. I mean, this is ridiculous. And all they have to do is they go to the little Mickey Mouse NASA training academy, the little NASA law enforcement training academy, and then they get a note from the little NASA administrator, and and that's it. A little ad assistant administrator note, a little training academy course, and you're good to go. You're now a brown shirt for NASA. And this is the kicker here. So check out the grounds. All they have to do is the arresting officer has, has to have reasonable grounds to believe that the person to be arrested has committed or is committing any fe any felony cognizable under the laws of the United States. You heard that right. They, they just If they suspect you of committing any crime under the laws of the United States, they can arrest you. Um, I find that disturbing. I find that a little strange i mean get back to research you know and i get it you got to protect your facility so that's one thing but these provisions are written so broadly that they can be interpreted and trust me i've seen this in a million different ways and in a million different legal systems not just ours so that, that could be another video but um like i said it's just grounds to believe that the person to be arrested has committed or is committing any felony so it's not even just against NASA and it's just it's in the exercise of their you know their duties but it could be some guy who makes pens for NASA who's a brown shirt and he decides to arrest you so this is a slippery slope guys unfortunately I think we're well down that slope but um it would be nice if more people would just pay attention I mean that's all we're trying to do here in this so-called truth movement is just to raise awareness i mean that's the buzzword let's all raise awareness and empower let's empower american citizens you know we're always empowering something why don't we empower ourselves to think for ourselves you know we're we are so delusional we we get brainwashed as we grow up to think that our country is just so different and so special no no granted i am proud of where i live and you have you want to be proud of your system your heritage your culture but that doesn't mean that you're blind to the fact that y you have a couple of pieces of paper, but they didn't stop us from getting to where we're at, we are at today. I mean, if you read the Venezuelan constitution, it sounds great. I mean, it's awesome. They're, actually, their tax system is way better than ours. I shouldn't say way better. That'll open up a can of worms. But, you know, there's a lot of things they're not taxed on that we're, we are taxed on. They tax their, their just direct income. But all these other things, these bonuses and vacation pay and sick pay and all these other crazy things, they're not taxed. And it stands up in their, their Venezuelan courts. Trust me, I've dealt with these. So to think that we're somehow better than all these other nations, and you know, we look at Venezuela as being backwards, but they have a constitution. It sounds good on paper, but we just think they're backwards and evil. And just like every other country in the world, we, we, you know, we, we brand that way. We're the only ones that know what freedom is. Well, they're looking at us saying, oh yeah, you got a piece of paper, but what are you doing with it? You're sending drones everywhere no declaration of war and you're just bombing the heck out of people killing innocents i mean this is just and nobody cares and i i get it i understand i mean a year ago you know if you would have brought up nasa i would say oh yeah you know i don't believe in the moon landing that was my big thing but you know i thought the rest of what they did was okay and it was it wasn't until my brother said hey you know the iss is fake and this is a longer story because you know i had i was in russia and that's when i started to really pull the curtains back on what we're told and i was like no are you serious you're crazy man the, the iss is up there I, I heard about it or i saw a picture but you know what open your eyes because as soon as i started looking into it i said holy moly yeah this is ridiculous this is a clown show so um so that's it you know sorry i got off topic here but again 
NASA has arrest authority and I don't like it. What do you think? Do you think this is legit? Do you think this is what we design our government to be? Remember people, these people, these authorities are supposed to work for us. We pay their salaries. We tell them what they can do through, you know, fake voting. But, um, so, you know, it is what it is. Let's call it what it is. Is it this free system we have or is it a big giant control system? And it's not, it's, it doesn't have our best interests at heart. It's corporate and you know everything else in this control system. So let me know what you think. Is this NASA arrest authority a good thing or a bad thing? And um, am I crazy or not? Don't answer that. I'm sure you'll say crazy. So anyways, have a great day and let's go make money so we can give it to NASA so they can give us some more cool videos. Adios.